this is just the second part of the first lecture na ginawa ko, no? So, still, this is in module 1. Kaya lang, this is much more, ano lang, no? Uh, medyo sin sisimplify na natin na konti. And then, makakaragdagan pang mga um, inputs. No? So, recap. When you say globalization, it is a term used to describe the changes in societies and the world economy that are the result of dramatically increased trade and cultural exchange. In specifically, in specifically, economic context, it in economic context, it refers to almost exclusively to the effect of trade. No, because when you say globalization, it is um, synonymous with free trade and of course the e economy. No, so. Like in nga, um, the effects of trade, particularly trade liberalization or free trade. Okay. Isa siyang common belief kasi na ang globalization ay nag, uh, nag ano siya, malaking role just at international levels of trade and commerce. No? So basically, we will talk about the trade and commerce here. Now, but the fact it is that it has played an important role in our making in making our lives much comfortable too much more comfortable diba like for example yung ating mga cellphones gaya nito no ng apparels usually mga t-shirts natin gadgets no like your laptops or accessories no that we use in our day to day uh, our day to day life are are be available to us through globalization. Now, knowingly and unknowingly, we are under the impact of globalization. And more importantly, it has helped in bringing international peace and justice to mankind. No? So, kahit ano man yung nakikita natin dito sa ating paligid, it's a product of globalization, mula sa cell phones, laptops, you know, from sa mga cameras and everything. They are part of the products of the globalization. Okay. The globalization can mean, so, yan, the formation of, glo of a global village. Closer contact between different parts of the world. Now, with increasing possibilities of personal exchange, mutual understanding, and friendship between world citizens. No, so, um, ano yan, eh? like for example, some music. No? It can become a part of the globalization. Why? For example, nga, yung kanina, uh, sa previous video na nabanggit ko, um, you have the Korean pop music or K-pop. Whatever our nationality is, uh, whatever our language is, pero pagka pinag-usapan ng K-pop, lahat yan magkikita-kita. So, parang ganon, no? So, and then you have the economic globalization. Dito naman papasok yung free trade and um, increasing relations among members of the of an industry in different parts of the world. Like particularly globalization of an industry with a corresponding erosion of national sovereignty in the economic sphere. Now, Let's talk about the science of globalization. No? So, when you say, um, when you see some science, it means that it is a part of the globalization. For example, uh, one, okay. first, no? you have increase in international trade at a faster rate than a growth in the world economy. So, free trade kasi ito eh. No? International trade. Then, of course, Increase in international flow of capital, including foreign direct investments. No, so um, uh, if I recall, last time I talked to a friend na medyo mahilig din sa business, and then ang uh, nagkita kasi niya is yung flow din ng foreign direct investment sa Pilipinas. Now, another one, greater transborder data flow. Using such technologies such as the internet, communication satellites, and telephones. Well, if we talk about the internet, especially in the Philippines, medyo napa, uh, honestly lang, no, napapag-iwanan na, na kasi tayo eh. 
Why? Of course, you have um, marami rin tayo naging problems din sa uh, internet like, yun nga, I don't want to mention any uh, particular telecommunications, pero some telecommunications have a slower internet na talagang kulang na lang it will test your patience. No? Iba nga, pinupukpok na nga nila yung modem or binabato or minsan ano, minamartilyo na. And some internet service provider na medyo talaga mabagal na. No? So, this is why the Filipinos are demanding for a third telco na magko-compete para maiwasan yung duopoly ng dalawang telecommunication companies. No? Then, of course, you have the greater international cultural exchange. For example, through the uh, through the export of Hollywood and Bollywood movies. Like for example, no, sa Marvel Cinematic Universe, no, ang Endgame ang pinaka I think highest grossing hindi lang sa Marvel Cinema uh, Marvel Studios, no. Um, but also, in terms of um, sales, Hollywood sales, and, uh, ticket sales, and yung box office hits. Actually, ang, if I recall, no, ang endgame kasi, siya na yung, ano eh, kumbaga, umangat, pinaka-top, highest grossing film of all time. Na lamangan na nito yung pinaka-number one, which, which is Titanic. No? So, Grabe rin ng impact ng mga movies, like international movies. No? Hollywood, basta pagka sinabing Hollywood, the, um, it, isa yan sa mga pinaka ano na, uh, culture, no? yung mga movies. Basta gawang Hollywood, inaan nila yan. Also, yung, sa Bollywood naman, of course, medyo umaangat-angat din sila. Like, you have, um, I'm not, Nas particular with Bollywood movies kasi I know only a few like your three idiots nga lang tsaka yung Slumdog Millionaire. Pero both of them, no especially the Slumdog Millionaire have earned Oscars. No, I, uh, kaya medyo maangat na din yung um, Bollywood. Now, some argue, no, ito etong mas malala pa. Some argue that even terrorism has undergone globalization. Terrorists now have attacked places all over the world. I, w- I don't want to comment on anything. Baka mamaya i-red tag ako as terrorist. No? So, medyo ang um, ganito na lang. No? In terms kasi of terrorism kasi, ang ideals and doctrines niya talagang nai-spread out. No? And kung titignan niyo, like for example, yung terrorist cell ng Al-Qaeda. Yung terrorist sa lang Al-Qaeda, medyo parang spider web na yan eh. Lumalaki na lumalaki yung kanilang galamay. O yung kanilang webs, no? Like, meron na silang mga branches anywhere around the world. Like, you, you have the ISIS. No? You have, dito sa Philippines, yung Jema Islamiya, Abu Sayyaf, the Bangsamoro Islamic Freedom Fighters, o yung BIFF, and other renegade groups. Now, I don't know, um, I just don't want to say na, ano, pero of course, when you say ter- um, dito sa Pilipinas kasi, medyo highly critical ngayon ng um, government when it comes to terrorism. Kaya nga, inaan nila ngayon is yung anti-terror bill, which is quite controversial. Eh, medyo, ano lang tayo doon, no? Kasi, if we comment on something, baka mamaya eh, ma-red tag tayo. Okay, moving on. Okay. Spreading of multiculturalism and better individual access to cultural diversity with one, on the other hand, some reduction in diversity through assimilation, hybridization, western, westernization, and Americanization or sinization of cultures. Now, when you say multiculturalism, it means that um, nagkakaroon siya ng ano eh, multi, um, access no, to cultural diversity. For example, no, 
one dominant culture that can be found not just in their own country but can be found anywhere in the country or anywhere around the world is yung the American culture. No? Like uh, from the food itself, burgers, the sodas, everything, everything American. No? Pero dito sa Pilipinas, I think it's more on a neck. Koreanization na rin yata nangyayari, no? Kasi with the advent of the Hallyu culture sa, ano, na nag spread ngayon, of course, we can't blame naman na everyone was trying to be like Korean. Like, um, yun nga, nag, nahilig sa K-pop, K-drama, or minsan pa nga, they studied Korean language, how to write in Korean, para naging ganon. So, yun. Now and then, you have the erosion of national sovereignty and national borders, like the international agreements leading to organizations like the World Trade Organization and the OPEC. Now, you have also greater international travel and tourism. Unfortunately, right now, medyo bagsak ang um, travel and tourism industry. No? With the advent of the COVID-19 and oh, with, yeah, with the spread of the COVID-19, eh, medyo bumagsak ang travel and tourism. No? It, um, I've talked to several people with um, that is part of the travel and tourism industry. Um, one of them is our former ano, um, tenant and they said na medyo talagang um, they are bracing themselves for um, the lowest of the low uh, lowest of the low and of course medyo malaki ang bagsak talaga ng travel and tourism no especially right now kung mapapansin niyo um, some people are still trapped in and outside inside the country or outside of the country kasi with regards to the travel ban travel restrictions of course like for example um sa ngayon no hindi pwedeng mag-travel around, of course, the world or anywhere around the world. Especially if you're bound for China or bound for um, other countries, no? Especially around China talaga, medyo um, talagang closed borders sila. Even Taiwan itself yata, if, uh, if um, wrong, um, uh, medyo nag-close din sila ng borders kaya yung ibang mga flights wala and how much more dito sa Pilipinas no um yun nga lang kasi naging issue rin nga dito yung travel um with regards to the um, travel ban medyo naging konting issue din dito so I won't touch on that subject now greater immigration including illegal immigration sa US number one ito no kasi yung mga illegal immigrants like yung mga border jumpers no na gagaling sa South America na gusto tumawid ng United States for the sake of siguro sa pagan ng buhay no pag um, guiding dito now development of global telecommunications infrastructure um yun nga no if you do a little research when it comes to uh, global telecommunications, ang pinaka number one talaga dyan is um, ano no, yung countries like China, America, Russia, medyo malatas yung global telecommunications infrastructure nyan. Unlike sa atin dito, medyo bumababa din yung telecommunications infrastructure kasi nga sa dami-dami rin ng mga gumagamit and then at the same time, kaya medyo bumabagal din yung internet natin. Now, another one is um, development of a global financial systems. Yung mga uh, financial systems, um, medyo nagdi-develop sila and of course, it would help the economy even higher. Now, increasing the shares of the world economy controlled by multinational corporations. Just like I've mentioned in the previous video, no? Do sa lecture 1 or sa module 1. 
uh, when you say multinational corporations or transnational corporations, uh, ito yung mga companies na may mga branches in and around the world. And then you have the increased roles of international organizations such as the World Trade Organizations, the WIPO, the International Monetary Fund, that deals with international transactions. Now, let me ask, magkano na ba ang utang ng Pilipinas ever since nag, um, nagkaroon na tayo ng virus? Anyone? So how to deal with that? Sino magbabayad? Hindi natin alam. Kawawa rin tayo. Okay. Increasing number of standards applied globally, like the copyright laws. Now, ever wonder why sometimes kung ikaw ay isang YouTuber, no? Like, for example, YouTuber, then mamaya-maya, nag-upload ka ng something and then it turns out na yung in-upload mo wasn't accepted or was muted kasi may copyright some, may copyright na nangyari, no? Kaya na minsan nangyayari, eh, na ano sila? Um, kailangan baguhin. Kasi, hindi mo ginawa yan, hindi mo content yun, yung mismo music, so, wala kang choice, hindi papalitan. Okay. If there is a pro-globalization, there is an anti-globalization. So, men, many anti-globalism activists seek globalization as the promotion of a corporatist agenda. So, mostly parang corporate lang daw, which is intent on constructing the freedom of individuals in the name of profit. Para lang daw kumita. So, they also claim that increasing autonomy and strength of corporate entities, increasing the shape of the political policy of the nation state. Now, globalization imposing, imposes credit-based economics resulting in unsustainable growth of debt and debt crisis. Now, kasi alam nyo, ito na nangyayari, no? Utang tayo ng utang, pero hindi natin mabayad-bayaran. Yun na alam nangyayari sa atin ngayon, no? no? Um, medyo unfortunate lang na nadali rin kasi tayo ang Pilipinas ng virus, kaya eh, medyo kulang o hindi sapat yung ating budget para dun sa nangyaring pandemic. No? So, we have no choice but to um, pa, mangutang tayo sa IMF or sa World Bank para lang magkaroon tayo ng budget. Eh, hindi ko lang din matalag masagot din yung tanong din na karamihan. Kahit din ako nagtatanong, saan napunta? Hindi natin na lang. So, let them do their work while I'm doing the lectures here. Okay. Kung merong anti-globalization, meron din pro. No? We have the supporters of free trade point out that economic theory such as competitive advantage suggest that free trade leads to more efficient allocation of resources with all those involved in the trade benefiting. benefiting. In general, they claim that this leads to lower prices, more employment, and better allocation of resources. Now, dito sa Pilipinas, kailan nga ba tayo nagsimula? The country is taking part in the process of globalization ever since the country side uh, signed agreements with the World Trade Organization in 1995. Now, effective ang globalization dito sa Pilipinas. It, ha it has allowed major changes in the nation to like more labor, more Filipino and foreign companies have emerged in the nation in order to help the country's developing economy. Yun nga lang, eh, sa, uh, minsan na-accuse din kasi yung mga businessman na, mga, na oligarchy kasi nga um, hinahawakan daw nila yung control sa Pilipinas and, and also within the economy. Now, globalization can make the Philippines into a better nation if, yun nga lang, remember this ha, if the Philippine leaders 
to make their economy more advanced to global trading and allowing more foreign investors to help boost the economy. Tanong, mabuboost kaya ang economy natin kung puro ang foreign investors na pumunta dito is all about the gaming corporation like yung mga Pogo? Actually, hindi, um, hindi ko alam kung makikinabang tayo dun sa Pogo eh. Ang makikinabang na talaga dito is yung China mismo. Okay. And of course, by accomplishing the, those goals, the Philippines should be able to reduce the poverty level as well as increase labor force for job opportunities for the for those that are in need for a living. Unfortunately, nagkaroon din tayo minsan ng job scarcity dito sa Pilipinas, no? Kaya minsan nakakat din tayo ng mga ibang lahi para lang sa trabaho. However, since the poverty level is still increasing, medyo tumataas ang poverty level natin, most Filipinos had managed to find work overseas and they have managed to seek better living in the Philippines. No? Than the Philippines. The most effective factor is in the Philippines is education. Napaka-importante ng education. <coughs> Excuse me. The society's mentality is to be educated and we um, and it's with the education that people are in the nation see, see their opportunity for a better life in the future. Now, unfortunately, medyo tumataas din kasi rin yung unemployment rate din sa Pilipinas. How come? No? Pa- bakit kaya tumataas ang unemployment rate sa Pilipinas? So, kung meron kayong sagot, just comment it, no? Diyan sa baba, comment pa lang. Bakit tumataas yung unemployment rate natin sa Pilipinas? Now, for my opinion kasi, it's this, no? One of the main qualities, uh, main reasons for me, ha, for me lang, is of course yung mga job qualifications, no? Kasi minsan talaga mahirap, yun, eh, no? Pagka-hiring, sasabihin lang. Dapat, qual- ang uh, qualification niya dapat ganito. Of course, you have to be educated then. Or minsan, tinatanggap na rin na yung high school graduates. Or ganito. Kaya nga, inaan lang ngayon yung K-12 curriculum para at least, in case lang na may mangyayari, at least meron pa rin sila mga reserve reserve yun. No? And then, isa pa din kasi, it's yung bukod sa qualification, like for example, meron kasi mga companies na may mga nagbibigay sila ng mga qualification na minsan specific. For example, sa tourism industry and sa flight attendance or sa stewardess, dapat isa rin sa mga qualification is height. No? Meron namang iba, like sa front desk, must have a pleasing personality. So kung ubod ka ng pagka-cheese bread, hindi ka pwede. Okay. Advantages Peaceful resolution Relations Most of the countries have resorted to trade relations with each other in order to boost their economy Leaving behind any bitter past experiences if any Employment um, Considered as one of the most crucial advantage Globalization had led to generation of numerous employment opportunities Companies are moving towards the developing countries to acquire labor force. Now, isa rin kasi sa mga nakikita ko dito sa Pilipinas, kaya medyo um, maano yung unemployment rate. Kasi, or karamihan eh, walang trabaho. Kasi, ang una kasi nilang hinahanap is sweldo. Why? Kasi, if they're going to apply for a job and then uh, the payment is too, too small, eh, hindi nila tatanggapin yun. Eh, may mga ibang Pilipino na masyadong ano, na gusto nila gusto nila trabaho yung kumikita instant ng mga almost papalo ng 20-40 thousand isang ano lang. Yun, nga, yun yung ibang Pilipino. Pero kasi money motivated din kasi ibang Pilipino when it comes to work eh. That's how, ano, how, how I view it. Okay, education. 
a very critical advantage that has aided the population in spread of education. With numerous educational institutions around the globe, one can move out from the home country for a better opportunities elsewhere. Now, here's the thing. Kaya, actually, mas maganda na rin na uh, magkaroon din tayo ng tinatawag natin yung K-12 education, no? K-12 education. Why? Kasi we are um, lagging behind. Medyo na iiwan tayo in terms of education. Kaya nga in-implement na ng government natin yung K-12 education para at least makahabol tayo sa mga ibang bansa. Oh, let me share with you one example. There was a friend of mine na graduate siya ng high school dito. Kaklase ko, syempre. Graduate na, kasabay kami gumaduate sa high school. Pero when she go abroad, balik ulit high school siya instead of mag-college. Kasi, or for two years, kasi, ano yun, eh, eh, kulang yung education natin dito sa Pilipinas. Kaya, bumalik siya sa high school doon, spent two years, samantalang kami, we're already in first and second year college. Which is, medyo nag, ano, kaya, Ika nga nila, napapag-iwanan na daw yung Pilipinas ngayon. Kaya ngayon, binabago na nila. Then you have also product quality. So, the product quality has been enhanced so as to retain customers. So today, the customers may compromise with the price range but not with the quality of the product. Low or poor quality can adversely affect customer satisfaction. Now, it's the qual um, quality over the price. No? Like for example, the good old days of the CDR King. No? Um, most people, right, um, during those days, eh, if they want to go for a cheap product, especially among computer parts, they go for the CDR King. Kasi medyo Mura, pero yung quality nga lang kasi medyo mabab, mm, mahina. Kaya ngayon, ang ginagawa nila is um, all about the price range. Now, here's another example. No? Do you know kaya, ano, kaya yung mga made in China na products yung madaling masira? It's because of like this eh. No? Based on what I've understand, it's because yung labor uh, sa China was very cheap, mura ang labor sa China. So, what they did was, of course, yung mismong quality, good quality, or yung highest quality product nila na ginawa will stay behind in China while yung mga substandard na ginawa nila of the same product will be shipped, uh, will be shipped to other countries para yun ang mabenta nila. Kaya nga pagka nabasag, wala kang choice, bili ka ulit na product nila ganoon. So para dun sila kumikita eh. No? Kaya madaling mabasag kasi para uh, kung sakali man, ma-replace agad, pera rin yun. Okay. Cheaper prices, yun na nga. No? Globalization has brought in fierce competition in the market. Communication. Every single information is easily accessible for from almost every corner of the world. Circulation of information is no longer a tedious task and can happen in seconds. The internet has significantly affected the global economy, thereby providing direct access and information and products. Now, there has been some issues around the internet, no? especially right now we're in the... Um, generation right now na rely on computers and internet. Pero sa, da, dahil sa virus, we are forced to do classes like this, no? Eh, unfortunately, some of the students don't have access to the internet, so medyo um, they are uh, left behind. Kaya, uh, nangyayari, the, uh, we are also, or we are aware that yun ang nangyayari. Kaya, um, we are trying our best to do our uh, job and then, of course, para ma-provide lang sila ng, ng access. Now, transportation. 
considered as the wheel of every business organization. Connectivity to various parts of the world is mo no more a serious problem. Today, with the various modes of transportation available, one can conveniently deliver the products to customers located at any parts of the world. Nandiyan ay magaya ng DHL, Federal Express, UPS. No? Hindi ko lang alam yung sa um, Lazada, pero isa sa mga controversial na no, yung shipping companies, or, uh, shipping and tracking companies, yung JTT. No? Medyo nagkaroon niya ng problema. Now, GDP increase. The gross domestic product or GDP, commonly no, uh, is the mo is the money value of the final goods and services produced within the domestic territory of the country during the unaccounted year. Free trade is a policy in which a country does not levy taxes, duties, subsidies, or quota on the import export of goods and services from the other countries. There are countries which have resolved free trade in specific regions. Now, this allows consumers to buy goods and services comparatively at a lower cost. So, inya, another one is travel and tourism. Globalization has promoted tourism to a greater heights, a great heights. International trade among different countries also helps in increasing the number of tourists that visits different places around the world. Sad to say, inya, talikang ko na sinabi ko kanina, medyo bagsak ngayon ng travel and tourism. No? Para naman kasi, syempre, social distancing, physical distancing, kung ano man yung chasing distancing. And if you're going to a tourist spot, syempre, crowded places yan. So, medyo pinagbabawal muna. External borrowing. With the help of globalization, there is an opportunity for corporate, national, and subnational borrowers to have better access to internal, external finance with facilities such as external commercial borrowing and syndicated loans. No, it's because you have loans, alam nyo na yan. Okay, disadvantage. Health issues. Globalization has given rise to more health risk and presents new threats and challenges for the, ep for the epidemics. Or should I say, pandemics. Okay. The dawn of HIV AIDS. Having its origins in the wilderness of Africa, the virus has spread like a wildfire throughout the globe in no time. Diba? Simple lang. HIV AIDS, nagsimula lang yun sa Africa, kumala. Coronavirus, nagsimula sa China, kumala. Diba? Sa so, paano paraan? They are accusing the bats. Dito naman sa HIV AIDS, sa mga primates daw. No? Eh, alam naman natin na the virus itself is can spread in just a matter of few seconds. No? Kaya, it's better for you to wash your hands, don't touch your face, wear a face mask. No? So, yun yung pinaka ano dyan. Now, the loss of culture. With large number of people moving in to and out of the country, they, the culture takes backseat. Now, people may adapt the culture of the resident country, they tend to follow the foreign culture more. Forgetting their own roots. Now, this can give rise to cultural conflicts. Dito sa Pilipinas, meron tayong tinatawag na ano eh, yung uh, ba tawag dito? Basta, it's all about the culture then, no? When you say, kasi tayo, ano eh, we adapt certain cultures, no? We, um, we have this so-called crab, uh, colonial mentality. Yon, tama. That's the term. We have this so-called colonial mentality or foreign country mentality. No? Like, for example, um, we prefer foreign products instead of our local products. We prefer foreign culture over local culture. Okay. Take for example this one. In terms of globalization. No? Or sa culture. Now, imagine this. 
Dahil sa sobrang pagka-addict sa Korean culture ng mga Filipinos. And not just only Korean culture, ah, but also Western culture in general. Na gustong-gusto, uh, nakakita lang na makinis, maputi, makinis, maputi, pero ano eh, ibang klase na eh. So parang naiinggit na, parang nangihinayang sila de, de, na sa kanilang kulay. No? Ika nga, be proud of your own skin. Kahit nasabihin natin, ano ka na, uh, maitim or ano. Actually, ang um, pagiging moreno or morena is not um, not that ano, no? Eh, be, embrace your you know, skin, ika nga. Kasi, like for example, ang basihan daw minsan ng, ano, ng pagiging maganda is yung pagiging makuti, sinasabi ng ganun, eh hindi naman daw dapat yon na Okay. Another one is an even wealth distribution. It is said that the rich are getting richer while the poor are getting poorer. In the real sense, globalization has not been able to reduce poverty. That's the sad truth. Medyo nakikita natin yung mga big companies, lumalaki sila samantalang yung mga tao, they're getting poorer and poorer and poorer. Okay, environmental degradation. The industrial revolution has changed the outlook of the economy. Industries are using natural resources by, meaning of, by means of mining, drillings, and which puts a burden on the environment. I don't know, I don't exactly know, pero somewhere around Zambales, no? yung mga mines dyan were being owned by the Chinese. No? Kaya medyo nasira na environment natin, eh, unti-unti na rin tayo na-invade. Then you have disparity. You know, through, um, through globalization, though globalization has opened new avenues like wider markets and environment, employment, I mean, there still exists a disparity in the development of the economy. Structural and unemployment owes the disparity to the disparity of created. Developed countries are moving their factories to foreign countries where labor is cheaply available. Tingnan. No? Sa China. Kaya lang right now, yung mga American companies or factories or firms na nas China, eh, due to ano, um, the declaration of President Donald Trump, parang inaalis na niya yung mga, for, yung mga com- US-based companies na nandun sa China ilipat na lang ibalik sa US para mas kumita. Conflicts. It has given uh, given rise to terrorism hmm, and other forms of violence. Such act not only cause loss of human life but also huge economic losses. Now, sinasabi nga nila, pagka may gera, may pera. That's how they view the United States. Sinasabi nila, ah, gigirahin nila yung Afghanistan, gigirahin nila yung Kuwait, kasi nga may pera, may oil doon, or something ganon. Parang gusto lang nila, they are going to war for money. Pero hindi nga alam, when you're going to war, uh, many lives were lost. No, lost. And then, economy-wise, babagsak talaga. Then you have the cutthroat competition. Opening the doors of the international trade has given birth to intense competition. This, affect, this has affected the local markets dramatically. The local players thereby suffer huge losses as they lack potential to advertise or export their products on a large scale. Therefore, the, mes- the domestic market shrinks. So, yun yung mga advantages and disadvantages of the globalization. No, so, um, this ends the part 1 or the part 2 of the module 1. And if you got any questions about your about this lecture, just comment it on, um, just put it in the comments below and we'll try to answer your inquiries. No? So, until next time, we'll see you at the module 2.
for the next lesson. So, thank you and 